Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. The two of wands here and the nine of pentacles. Are you thinking about freeing yourself from someone? Are you thinking about freeing yourself from someone or do you have some type of negative thoughts or is there a negative energy being projected onto you that's causing you to be a little bit confused about how to move forward? It looks like the way that you are considering moving forward is going to for sure bring you victory and success, possibly an offer, something that's going to change in your favor. Um, But right now, you may be feeling like you are going to miss an opportunity or like you've already missed an opportunity. You need to be careful not to pay too much attention to this energy. The Queen of Cups is here with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. You're the Ace of Cups. There's something very beautiful here and it's coming in rather quickly. Some of you, if there is a connection between you and another person, both of you are under some type of illusion spell, some type of chaos, conflict, um... Something is causing a wedge between you and another person so that you're unable to really see your future with someone or you're unable to see your future in like a business or a relationship. There, There is some type of new um, venture or some type of change or the dynamic of a situation in your life that should be changing. However, you have some type of mental conflict here about it all right you're needing to step outside of your comfort zone here some of you you're a, a bit afraid to maybe you're in a connection and you're afraid to be single maybe you're working for a job you're afraid to change jobs you're afraid to go back to school you are afraid to start a business there is something fear-based here it, it feels like it's coming from something or someone else You could be really trying to fight against this energy, though. It's definitely a heaviness. There's a decision that has to be made. It, I feel, though, like you've already made a decision. It feels like something is trying to make you uncertain about the decision that you've already made. It's like you already know where victory and success is, but I'm seeing this jumping energy in the cards. It's like... You start off being a little bit fearful, doubtful, insecure about a situation, and then you have this victory and this success. Some of you, um, either you're opening your heart up or someone is trying to open their heart up to you, or it's just some type of opportunity that brings some type of emotional fulfillment. It doesn't have to be romance. It's like the ball gets to rolling, and then boom, all of a sudden, the four of cups, the five of wands. As soon as the ball gets to rolling, as soon as you feel happy and at peace and content with your decision-making all of a sudden, there's this conflict that's coming that puts you in this stalemate, stuck at a crossroads, fork in the road type of energy, all right? This energy, though, is something, it comes in very quickly to bring confusion. This is a spirit of chaos and confusion that's being sent to you. And it's because, most likely, a lot of you, your love life is under attack or your stability. If this is your home life, your stability, your security, um, your family, your friends, your relationships, it, the things that you love, it, it feels like they are somehow under an attack. Yeah, somebody wants to possibly put an end to something, all right? I don't want to always say that like, oh, somebody's trying to end you, but usually for a lot of people, that's actually what's happening. But another way to see this is that just your commitment to your higher self is being tested. You do have wish fulfillment, a lot of hope, the desires of your heart are coming in. However, there is some type of ending, a transformation, a rebirth that has to take place. All right. This could mean that you have to stop thinking a certain way. You may have to stop dealing with a particular person. It may be time to leave a job or relationship, but there is something here that has to end. I feel strongly that whatever it is in your life that needs to end, it has already ended. And now you just have this energy that's coming in to kind of test to see, like, did you really mean that? You know, because <laughs> this could have been a major ending for you. Yeah. 
All right, so we have the moon here, the lovers, and the king of pentacles here. Two of wands right above it. So, like I said, there is something here that you have to make a decision about. The lovers usually speaks of um, making a decision. Some of you have to make a decision between two lovers. We have a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy retrograde energy, guys. Uh, Venus is in retrograde. Mercury will be in retrograde in a few weeks. I feel like we're already in like a pre-shadow retrograde season. We just had a full moon in Aquarius. It was a super moon. So, you know, even myself, I, I feel like the energies have been just very up and down, up and down. You may really be feeling nostalgic experience, a, a bit of deja vu. You could be feeling regretful about the past. It's a good thing for you to kind of work through your emotions about these situations, but keep your eye laser focused on where you need to go and not so much where you've been. Okay. Because the nine of pentacles is here. It's like some of you, you're single, you're self-sufficient, you're abundant. You are enjoying life, you know, or this is where you're headed for sure. Where there's victory, success, this is public recognition, rewards, being triumphant. And then it's like there's a person who has either entered your life or that you're manifesting love and you're experiencing this good karma. Like I said, for some of you, this has already happened or it's about to come in. But there's this energy, the four of cups here of feeling discontent, feeling bored. It's like a new offer is being given to you, but you're still sort of focused on a situation with friends or family or a relationship, something that may not have worked out. There was some type of conflict here and it had you stuck and confused or something is coming back around to have you stuck and confused, but it's time for you to make a judgment call on whatever this situation is. Some of you, there's a, a desire here for you to connect with certain people, but it seems like you first have to completely disconnect from a particular group. Somebody also is going through karma. There's like a person who wants to reunite with you that's going through some type of karma. Yeah, five of pentacles. Why is this five of pentacles? This five of pentacles is falling right underneath the nine of pentacles. And what I feel is happening is that some of you are not seeing your true worth and your value, how far you've come. There's some type of illusion being um, cast over you or, you know, th this is this is some type of, the devil was the very first card. This is something with the mind because you're actually the nine of pentacles, but it seems like emotionally you're feeling like the five of pentacles right now. And this has something to do with some submerged or hidden emotions that you have possibly about a relationship. This could be a relationship with this king of pentacles person. Okay. There could be a Capricorn of significance here, Taurus, Virgo, but some of you had to make a very tough decision to leave someone behind. You had to surrender some type of connection here. And you may be feeling like now, although you're single, you're abundant and everything is okay. You still at times are feeling like the five of pentacles here, like something is missing or you're not actually satisfied and content. It's because right now with the seven of swords and the three of wands, you don't feel like you can fully trust what is actually coming in for you because you don't see it. You haven't been able to touch it or feel it yet. But spirit is saying, don't doubt yourself because you have the six of wands, the knight of cups and the wheel card here. So I can see what this is. It's like you have something right around the corner that's coming in, but because you can't see it, your faith, your commitment is being tested you are feeling some type of way right now about the fact that you cannot connect with a certain group of friends or family or there won't be a reunion or reconciliation with someone. You're feeling a way about that, but what you're not recognizing right now is that there is a brand new passion in the beginning that's coming for you. Yeah. All you have to do is drop these burdens here and go towards this Ten of Cups. Wow. 10, 10, 10 is here. Wow. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So this is the end of a very painful situation here. But the, the truth is, is that you do carry the baggage with this. You carry the baggage from whatever this situation is. It could be 
church hurt. It could be hurt from a, a friend group. It could be hurt from family. It could be hurt from a lot of things with this retrograde energy. And um, I, I mentioned this. I've mentioned it more than once. This, we have two super moons in the month of August. This is the first time this has happened since 2018, and it won't happen again, I don't think, until 2037 that we have two supermoons in one month. Right now, the energy to me, it is so push and pull, like this tug of war, because we're in Leo season, which is a time of vitality, it's passion, it's adventure, it's good health, it's shining bright like a diamond, but you have a full moon in Aquarius. And you guys know, of course, we've been in that um, age of Aquarius where so many different things have happened. Um, it was a time to really decode a lot of cryptic messages being sent to you by the universe, by the divine about things in your life. And for some, even in your past life for you to understand. So we have this full moon in Aquarius, which is all about, I feel like becoming like this pioneer, detaching, um, detaching from what is known so that you can create the life that you want um detaching from outdated self-limiting beliefs and this may have a lot of people sort of feeling like they're hanging in limbo because you're experiencing true freedom and when you have known bondage and it, it, to be just bound for so long freedom feels uncomfortable you know it's like i'm saying it's like you get your first place you know, and you're used to maybe living with your family and you get your first place or after a breakup or a separation or a marriage, divorce, whatever, you get your first place and you have to adjust to sleeping in the house by yourself. You have to learn the little sounds that the refrigerator makes or the air conditioner or whatever. You have to adjust and eventually you will walk in and you will throw your keys down and you will be at peace, but it's something new. Because you're not surrounded. So some of you have been, you've been going through maybe a period of isolation or God has had you in a season of pruning where he's taking away the things from you that no longer serve you. And you get right there in that stage where you're like between worlds, where you're like, wait a minute, what's happening? It's because for some of you, you're experiencing peace for the first time. You're experiencing what it feels like or what it means to truly have your energy just belong to you and it's uncomfortable for some of you it's because you're finally creating boundaries and when you look when you finally get peace what tends to happen is you begin to reflect and you start to think oh wow you've been living this this like life where you've just been in survival mode for so long and it gets scary because you're wondering if the discomfort you feel if it's worth everything that you gave up and spirit is here to say yes it is because you have something very beautiful coming in for you it's going to bring you great passion it's going to be your good karma it's your karmic justice but some of you right now you're like i said you're reflecting you can't see it but mental clarity is coming for sure yeah the judgment card and the Ace of Swords, the mental clarity, the truth, the ascension is coming. Some of you could be experiencing ascension symptoms, definitely could be having headaches, all right? This person's like down on their knees. Maybe prayer meditation would help you at this time, but you may also be receiving a, a really powerful download at this time. The way that you're communicating or the way um, God communicates with you or the universe source com communicates with you it could be going through a shift it could be changing some of you are definitely getting closer to your soul family or you're about to start meeting people who are a part of the same soul family as you it's going to help you embrace your journey more as you realize that you're not completely alone you're just being separated from what you know but you're not alone Yeah, the world. This is an upgrade. It's elevation. It's the closing of a cycle and the beginning of something new. But I feel like you're definitely being upgraded. And both of these cards, 
um you could be a rainbow baby or you are having a rainbow baby or this could just have something to do with rainbows all right some of you could be seeing rainbows or rainbow is going to be a sign a symbol of significance to you some of you you know either you or someone you know could be coming out with some type of truth about a community because I'm, I'm speaking of community here the world just the rainbow community um yeah for sure it's, it's a lot of rainbow cards eight of wands somebody somebody could be communicating soon that they're coming out of the closet That's not everyone's story, but it's it's definitely showing up here. Yeah, somebody has been juggling. Somebody has for sure been in their head a lot about this, about communicating this truth, feeling very bound. This is a secret that someone has. Now, this this is very specific for somebody. Somebody out here definitely could be bisexual, and I, it it feels like they're they're making a decision. To try something new. It, there's the end of a certain lifestyle here. Like somebody who who maybe was bisexual now, they're choosing to be um, like heterosexual or someone's heterosexual, they're choosing to be bisexual. It's something like this. There is the end of a chapter. And this, this brings about chaos and conflict. Somebody has been... experiencing rejection disappointment fear and anxiety about communicating they've been in their head about this constantly this could be someone's child as well august 4th or august 8th little i just realized this we have two eights here and two number fours and here is the number two Hmm. There is something happening here. I don't know what this like rainbow energy is. Because here's the high priestess and the king of wands with the magician. Something major is being manifested. What I just mentioned, like I said, that's, that's not for everyone, of course, but I'm, I am seeing it. But what it feels like is there's also something going on with like the spiritual awakening that someone is having. And someone could be realizing that they are like a, like a, maybe a rainbow baby. Maybe somebody is coming into some type of heightened awareness about them being a light worker or they're finding out more about like their their lineage their ancestry something there's some kind of spiritual awakening like somebody is connecting and and this could be with the page of pentacles here this could be a rainbow baby this could be a spirit baby that's trying to come through this reading honestly this is very different Somebody here could think you're having like um, ascension symptoms. You could be having pregnancy symptoms. Or these pregnancy symptoms that you're having are ascension symptoms. Maybe you're being prepared for a rainbow baby. You're manifesting this king of wands here. Some of you, this is a spiritual connection or you're manifesting a life where you're going to truly be like this trailblazing energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um pisces here um 
this really has me like I can't this is a different type of energy this is something major though I'm telling like seriously just it what it is is it's this um this Lionsgate portal here that we're, we're gonna have and today is August 5th yeah 8 8 the Lionsgate portal is in three days you have this king of wands as high priestess here. So somebody has been feeling discontent and bored. This cycle, if you've been feeling discontent and bored for a while, this is about to end. Any kind of juggling, misconceptions, feeling trapped, any type of illusions, confusion, this cycle is wrapping up here. You're about to receive a major download. We literally have three tens here. The ace of wands, there's going to be like an extremely powerful download here. And there is a merging of energies. There's a merging of energies here. The craziest thing, remember I just mentioned ascension, like I just got so nauseated. This is this is um this is absolutely spiritual ascension here for somebody. But I'm also picking up like a spirit baby for someone also. Or what this could be is right now you are spiritually ascending and being guided so that you can create something. Of course, it's not going to be a baby for everyone, but it's like you're you're about to give birth to something major. For some, it's a baby. It could be a business. It's a creative project, whatever it is. But you're manifesting this energy right now of really, really being. I just keep hearing this trailblazer as the king of wands or you're manifesting this person into your life there's a merging of energies though that number two with the eights and the fours august 4th could have been significant and then august 8th <clears throat> excuse me throat chakra could be significant too I just looked at the TV in front of me and I see coming to America. King of Wands. Some of you, you I'm t you're manifesting something and it's new. It's just, I'm t it's like a pioneer energy. It's new. It's something you've never done before. It's a person you've never met before. You're embracing some type of situation or idea. Page of Cups. There's a spirit baby out here too. Absolutely. Queen of Wands. Oh, yeah. That's it. There you have it. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. This is this is a twin flame couple that's being manifested here. They have a sacred union or contract here. And it, it looks this page of cups here. Whoa. Look at this. <laughs> Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles the tower something after being disappointed stuck in regret feeling rejected abandoned wounded like an opportunity isn't going to come in or whatever the case is it's like this divine intervention comes in there is money there is legacy there is stability there's friends there's family there's structure um having more discipline it's like everything is about to start lining up because I'm telling you, there is a marriage here and the birth of a child. I feel so nauseated. Somebody out here, you definitely, it's like you've gotten out of a long cycle with the devil, with something very toxic here. You're purging some kind of emotions that you have about some type of old connection. You're doing a lot of deep shadow work and healing. It almost feels like, for somebody to be completely honest, this feels like a dark night of the soul that you were forced into. If it's not you, it's your person. I am getting like a merging of energies. So if, if it's not you that's going through this directly, you may be feeling it because whoever you are connected to energetically that you have this divine contract with, this is what exactly what they're going through. But it's like whatever they feel, you feel. You're sharing feelings with more than one person. Somebody is being kicked. Okay. I, they, I, in my mind, I'm seeing it. 
it's like a this room it's literally like a, a transplant is taking place it's like they're taking something bad out of you and they're putting something new in but obviously there's a donor it's like whatever this karmic energy is it's being removed you could be feeling very like weird right now under the weather a little nauseated sick this um and i had a reading like this maybe one or two years ago I, it's like spiritual surgery it's it's really what it's like it's like spiritual surgery it's like your ancestors your angels spirit guides god like they're coming in and they're extracting <clears throat> they're extracting something out of you it, it's like any type of old thoughts or wounding heartbreak pain rejection abandonment like anything at all that has been causing you to feel trapped they're removing it and then they're like boom we found a donor where well, the donor is like this new soulmate for some of you this twin flame this counterpart like energy they're like your donor they're they're gonna give you like a an or an organ so naturally um because right now in my mind I'm seeing, what is the name of that movie with uh, Will Smith? Was it Seven Pounds? You're getting a piece of another person or they're getting a piece of you. So you're being connected to someone else spiritually and energetically. So your body really could be feeling this. My body feels really weird right now. Not weird, but... Honestly, it, it feels like my throat is cracking and my voice feels shaky. I feel cold, very nauseated. And this just kind of came all of a sudden. Right when I got to these cards right here, this four of cups, you, you may just be feeling like, ugh, like blah right now. Because there is a battle that's happening. You're getting very close to reaching like your your cosmic gift, your star. Today being, this is five of wands, this is the fifth. It's like you're beating out the competition. You're, you're facing all of the odds and the adversity. Just hold on. Oh, wow. Look, the Empress. Yeah, you're definitely about to give birth to something. And it's yours. Nobody else can have it. It's all yours. The Four of Pentacles. It, it only belongs to you. Nobody else can have this. Nobody else can have a piece of it. It's just like I said, like with um, a donor. It has to be the perfect match. It has to be the perfect match. And here is three. For some, like I said, this is mom, dad, kids. Mom, dad, child. Mind, body, spirit, whatever. Yeah, and here's the hermit. Yeah, then the chariot and the star. You're going with and right now. You're really being guided with and for some introspection, some some soul healing. Because you're moving forward now towards your destiny. Wow. And whatever this illusion is. You now are in this energy of being very decisive. You're taking action. If not you, someone else. But the king and queen of wands came out together with the high priestess in the middle. For some reason, I feel like this high priestess is like a spirit guide for you. And this spirit guide could be a spirit guide that is shared between you and someone else. Seven of wands. This spirit guide is protecting you and another person. Yep. Page of swords watching you. So that you have justice because you're starting over and you're going towards a new beginning. This is your new beginning as an earth angel who has a task and a purpose to heal. But right now you, you may be healing. They're doing spiritual surgery. They're healing you from some type of heartbreak here so that you can finally just let go. They want you to let go. They want you to finally just be a free falling, free spirit. Just let go. 
Everything that you walked away from, they gave you stress, fear, and anxiety. You were supposed to. They're giving you a new organ. Like you're, in other words, you're you're going to a new timeline. This is a new timeline for you. And you're going to be given the best of the best. Yeah. This is an offer for many of you of commitment. Um, it's, it's an offer. It's you also accepting an offer from God himself. To actually be chosen. It's, it's you fully immersing yourself into your purpose. But for some of you, this is also um, whatever journey you're on, it's leading you to like marriage or commitment if that's not something that you have you're you're literally going into just everything family friends purpose kids blended family like everything but right now you really may be in this five of cups energy feeling very like detached just feeling very detached not knowing how to feel <laughs> Really, I'm the only thing that I can use to describe this seriously is like spiritual surgery. I'm telling you, it, it feels like 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 you just got a donor. You've been waiting on this for a long time. It's like a spiritual heart transplant. They're taking this old, beat up, scar, wounded heart. That's been having these palpitations. And you're getting a new one. I don't want to say heart because. I, it, 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 whatever this organ is <laughs> for you. It may not be the heart, but. You know, there's just an analogy that I'm using at this time. It's almost like though whatever you're getting from someone as far as like this like spiritual organ, you're going to know them. That's why I don't want to say heart because heart would suggest that you're getting something from someone that's no longer alive. <laughs> Let's say a, a kidney or, you know, because in my, in my mind's eye now, it's like I'm seeing... A person that's like, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a kidney, you know, I can function with just one, I'll give you one. And I'm seeing like two people in hospital beds, like, in the reading that I did yesterday, I believe I was talking about twin flames or soulmates coming together and not being what you expected. One person is coming out of something really toxic right now, while the other person is, has come out of something, but they're still healing from it. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting in this energy today as well. You know you have to rip some type of pain out. It's something, it's affecting your body. It's no good for you. It's causing you other issues. It's going to be extracted. It's, also, I'm getting like wisdom, like a wisdom tooth extraction. You know, it's like, oh yeah. It, it's sort of like the wisdom, the wisdom teeth, you know, when you think about wisdom, when you think about your spiritual journey, you've gained all of this wisdom and this insight, but it's been so much pain. You know, you can take the, you can take those wisdom teeth out now. It's time, it's okay to have their oral surgery. Like you can take the wisdom teeth out. You still have the experience. Some of you need to know, like, it's okay for you to let go of something or someone or to walk away. You've gained the experience that you needed from it. Whether it's something currently in your life or it's something from your past that you're still holding emotionally. You haven't completely shed, you haven't irrigated the wound just yet. And if this is a situation where two people are coming together, again, one of you could have already, like, you both could have physically left something, but I feel like someone's wound is is more fresh than the other person's. But just because an, a wound may be old doesn't mean that it's any less painful than a new wound, depending on how you took care of it. I hope that makes it. So you could have walked away from someone 10 years ago, but you're still feeling the pain 
the, the burn of it. Somebody else could have walked away from someone 10 months ago. And they're nearly like nobody can really say how long it takes a person to heal. I feel like th if this is two people, both people are healing from something major, but your healing time is very different. Take that how it resonates and remember the roles could be reversed. And I just want to say this too, because this does, this does feel like it has something to do with a relationship. Your hardest relationship will be the healthy relationship after your toxic relationship. Let me say that again. The hardest relationship that you will ever be in is the healthy relationship after your most toxic relationship. Learning how to take the lessons and the wisdom from a situation and completely separate it from the pain that gave you the wisdom can be very hard and tedious because now you're going into situations, whether it's in your career, your finances, your business, your family, your group of friends. Or even like a spiritual union with another person where you have to take the lessons. But you, 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 you can't hold on to all of the bad memories and emotions. Yeah. Because you or someone is making plans for a union. Some of you need to be careful. There's a masculine out here. This masculine has been coming up in the readings a lot. You have a masculine that's 100% either in your life and they're thinking about marriage or they're coming into your life. This person will marry you 100%. This will be a, a real commitment. But if you do not allow yourself to completely let go of this thing that is always in the back of your mind, about an old situation, you can miss this opportunity. And it feels like with the tower type energy that I'm picking up on, even this high priestess here, this is someone's like spirit guide. They're trying to make sure that you don't miss this opportunity. Because I feel like somebody is really having a battle of their own mind. This is like a, a constant battle. And it's because of the, some, some, someone here, this union, this idea of a commitment going into union, as bad as you want it, it's scary because it requires a certain level of intimacy and vulnerability that you're still afraid to have after being in this karmic toxic cycle with the devil. There's a lot of emotional and psychological like abuse that has happened that has someone a little bit stagnant and complacent. Like, you know, you want to get out of this place. But the truth is, is that most people, they become conditioned to be comfortable dealing with the bare minimum, less than or even with abuse. Because I'm seeing this victory and this success, it's like you have all these great things but you're being asked now to still get out of your comfort zone more. Some of you, it's time to check out of the Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> Commitment. There's an offer of loyalty here. Wow. And proposal. I'm telling you, somebody is coming in to marry you. Just period. And what this devil energy is for a lot of you is... There's a forbidden connection here with someone that perhaps is very prideful, lustful, arrogant, or whatever that you've had a lot of conflict with. You get afraid to move forward into a real commitment that could lead to marriage with someone who is ready and willing to spend quality time with you because you're very triggered by this very low vibrational situation here. Somebody is still trying to telepathically communicate with you and it's causing you a lot of confusion. 
So many of you, you have more than one option in love. You have this very just low vibrational demonic for some of you, this witch or warlock who keeps trying to send these telepathic signals to you because they want you to be triggered so that you're confused about how to move forward now that you have a commitment with someone with a new love who wants to spend quality time with you. Your karmic partner is really, really trying hard to block anything new coming into your life. But see, th you're going to have to take control of this situation. Water. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Marriage and Earth. Murky, muddy waters here. But I feel that in the end, something is going to be worth it. Wish fulfillment. Either you or someone that you're connecting to could both have water or earth highly aspected in their chart. We do have the Hierophant card here. And the Devil card represents Capricorn energy. So someone could definitely have Capricorn and Taurus heavily aspected in their chart. It does not have to be their sun sign. We have the Queen and King of Wands out here. Somebody could even have a lot of fire in their chart. Yeah, you may need to take some time out to really meditate right now and cleanse and clear your energy because you have an extremely jealous person, green-eyed monster that's watching you. This green-eyed monster could actually be It could be this earth or water sign person. I'm getting for sure like Scorpio and Taurus. Scorpio and Taurus. Scorpio, Taurus, and, and Capricorn are really coming up when it comes to a masculine energy that could be watching you. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're receiving wish fulfillment. But keep in mind, it could be any sign. Yeah. Somebody wants you to compromise to make the situation work they want to redeem themselves and say that they're sorry but it's only because you have something new but at the same time i can see why this is so conflicting because some of you you also are connecting with someone who has come out of a dark situation just like you they're trying to redeem themselves so that they can make things work with you and Spirit is saying you need to look at them as if they are you because it is safe for you to love. This person could, just like you, be trying to overcome some, some battles and some burdens. They may even come off like a little bit clingy. Or maybe when you meet this person, you may feel kind of clingy. You just have a lot of people who are being kicked out of your energy that are missing you right now. With this full moon and Aquarius energy, you may be feeling... This five of cups energy like this because there are some people who are at a physical distance and then there's emotional distance. I feel like this karmic person is there's physical distance. The person that's meant to be in your life, there's emotional distance. Because the person that wants to offer you this commitment due to your confusion because of this karmic person you may be pushing them away or their confusion because of something happening in their life. They're kind of pushing you away. Yeah, something may feel one-sided. But it's like you need to speak up because someone is making plans who has unconditional love, but they are working on their inner child right now. And then you still have this karmic person who has been holding back. They're ruled by ego, but they're obsessed with spying on you. This person could already have a family. And they are very afraid now of you having a family because you have a big decision to make. You, It's time for you to choose the person that you're going to live in your purpose with. And it's happening very soon. So you have a really big choice to make. But be careful because we have reconciliation, nostalgia, and third party. 
for some of you, you have someone from your past that's trying to come back. You have a past life contract with this person. This card literally says Mercury retrograde. When this person comes back, there's still going to be a third party situation. So as you think about old times and you're nostalgic with this Mercury retrograde energy, just make sure that you don't make a mistake because within a few weeks, many of you have an opportunity to celebrate in a new divine connection with a soulmate or a true twin flame. So you have to let go and trust your angels right now. I would say overall, this is good. Um, it's just, you know, you guys know every time Mercury Retrograde comes, the, the past, the past is lurking. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you, your happiness definitely lies in the future with something or someone new. There is a very, very beautiful opportunity here for some of you to have everything that you ever hoped, wished, dreamed, and prayed for. I mean, like a true, loyal, committed, you know, person, whether it's a soulmate, twin flame, is for sure a life partner. I'm picking up this spirit baby here. But there's a very dark karmic energy here. Somebody has to really figure out a, a way to get someone from out of their head. There is a person out here that is... Um, I'll be honest, they're very good with telepathically communicating with you, but they're not good for you. There's so much confusion coming from this person sending all, sending you all of these telepathic messages because they're they're trying to get their it's like somebody is trying to force their way into your energy. But I'll tell you, whoever this person is that's meant to be with you, they're going to force their way into your energy as well. If this person, because whoever is supposed to be with you, they're already integrating and merging with you emotionally and energetically. Some of you, like I say, you, even your body, your body temperature and everything could be changing because you're feeling this spiritual surgery. There's an extraction of a person and a situation for you. Like, yeah, you're going to always remember the situation, but you're being asked now, just take the lessons. Don't take the person. Don't take the drama. Just take the lesson. That's it. Some of you, it's a big lesson here in love and true loyalty that is needed for you to go into like your forever love. Your the person, like I said, that you will walk this earth in your and, and live out your soul purpose with. Somebody was only in your life to teach you a lesson. And now that they're being removed, they're feeling it. So they are constantly projecting their emotions onto you. But this person, for a lot of you, whoever this start, this person is very much in another situation. So just be very careful. And I, I've been trying to make sure that I say this in the readings because I know retrograde, the energy is very, very hectic and confusing. There's a lot of illusions. The cards don't lie, but if in your situation you know that the past person is for you, don't let me or reading or any other reader tell you that like you can't be with a past person. If God himself has confirmed for you that a past person is for you, then you move in that direction. From what I'm picking up intuitively and even what the cards are saying, it seems like the past person does not have the best intentions for a lot of people. But there is always the chance that a past person can come in healed, reformed, and truly ready to redeem themselves. If that's your story, great. Um, I, I will say it's not the story for the majority of the collective. But for those of you that resonate with that, by all means, you know, reconcile. <laughs> but for a lot of you, the majority of you, you need to leave the past behind because Everything about the past is is being extracted. And I just want to highlight too, there is a very powerful 
spirit guide, an angel, an ancestor, some type of galactic being that is guiding you. And I feel that they're not only guiding you, I feel like they're guiding you specifically to someone that is going to, like I said, give you an organ. Somebody is going to come in and revive you. They're going to help you function better.